Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Colbert once more, bringing you some new content to the channel. Here we are at episode number 11, and this is... Oh wow, yeah, you probably guessed it. We are now subscribed! Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! And you should be subscribed to this channel as well. <laughs> well, just if you like, right? Just if you like to watch more of this content. So, what we will do this episode, basically, we will discover the most useful saps, which are these portals that you can use to teleport to other places around the world. Um, and some other things, maybe like, yep, the two main quest lines of the dungeons. So, you will see that shortly video in and this is gonna be the first part of the video we are doing the quest anger of the gods which is a, a class quest I'm just showing you how to do the one of the hyper match because it's basically the same talking to the emissary then going to your temple talking to your class master just for a little while she or he He's gonna tell you a couple of things about your class and you will need to read a book inside a temple. After you read this book, you basically need to go back to the emissary at Astrup. You can use this uh, statue and that is it. I mean, it's not that complicated. That's just that. After that, I decided to go on a hunt and discover the saps as I mentioned before starting with the closest one which is gonna be the Magna Village since you can take this one from your temple okay so from Astrup you can teleport to the Magna using the temple um, you can see here that the um, Fagarnaut was actually closer to other saps for example the sadida is closer to the fourth or fifth sap in this um video but well i decided to reunite my team here at a magna village as you can see the echo flip is also really really close to the a magna town or village sap and this is just a route I took to reunite the team over here. And um, then you've got this ram, which is the one that is actually closest to this sub. It's just left, um, I think two maps left to the sub. So as you can see, I just um, go out the temple. I just go right once and twice yep two maps away so that was the first sap the magna village which is going to be key to this adventure and as you can see here i was trying to collect some sage and a monster attacked me this is a resource protector and as you can see now that i'm subscribed i actually get the sacks of resources now the second closest sap would be really close to this Eliotrop uh, temple you can use that to teleport to Sufokia then you turn left and you can find I mean I think this is one of the most useful saps because in Sufokia you've got a lot of things so that's the, the fastest way to get to it then you need to use the portal again and I'm not talking about the sap, I'm talking about the Eliotra portal to get to Motherstem, which is the third one here. And the fourth one is actually really, really close to this one, so you just need to walk a little bit. And it's gonna be right here, the Magna Castle one, which is really important too, because you can find here the wanted uh, monsters in the castle, in the militia. So that was the fourth one, really easy to get. Now, from Sufokia again, 
you need to go to the jelly quay and from this position particularly you need to go left and then you need to go up and you will find the next one which is gonna be in these coral leaf planes now um, I want to tell you that if you're running a team the best option for you would be actually running to the dungeon teleport the rest of the team and then you need to walk like five or six maps and you will get to the sap which is gonna be our fifth one in this adventure that's gonna be key as well and I'm gonna show you that in the future then if you take the Magna Village sap and you go all the way down as I'm showing you guys here you will find one of my favorite saps not because it's super important or relevant but because you know that I love professions and this one is getting me real close to a forest that I really like so this is a sex one the edge of the evil forest I will be using this one a lot as well and then the next one's gonna be taking the left sap using this secret passage here you will find some monsters if you want to fight them you're okay they are not so difficult I'm gonna do that in the future actually to get the achievement I decided not to do it right now so you need to talk to this miner he will take you to another place using the wagon then you come out of the place and you find this app over here which is precious as well is the seven one the caravan alley now I like this one a lot because you will find a lot of trees here and so I'm gonna be um, using the lumberjack a lot then you need to take a really long trip all the way up to the breeder village which is a really interesting one too for people like me that like to sell and buy items so this is the number eight and that's it for the video of the saps now we started two quest lines as I mentioned before the first one is gonna be with Belina she's gonna ask you to go to the sandy castle because it's it, it, it seems like sorry it seems like she's looking for some duffus and the second one is Metamunch Kin, which is gonna ask you to go to the Sunflower Dungeon. So after you take these couple of quests, you need to start grinding dungeons. As you can see here, I'm just going through the Sunflowers one because that was the closest one to the Metamunch one. You actually take the Metamunch one in this dungeon so for that reason I'm taking this one first then you need to talk to him again he's gonna give you some camas and some experience as well which is the reason why we're doing this quest then I went to the sandy castle and here <laughs> I want to show you something very funny look at this one look at that little bud oh my god he's in tongs no way <laughs> that was very funny i actually had the opportunity to do the duo here so we're getting really close to finish the achievements of the dungeons now you talk back to Valina, and again she's gonna give you some experience some camas out of that the second dungeon is for Metamunch. You will need to defeat the Royal Gobble one. This dungeon is one of the most difficult in Astro because these monsters hit like super hard. But not a big deal because now we are more than level 50 so it's not impossible. It's just fine. You talk to him again. He's gonna provide you with another quest. Give you some experience and some money now one difficult duo to do is actually the kick roach because these monsters not only hit super hard but i mean they're tricky sometimes you can find this dungeon a little bit tricky but as you can see here i had no problem at all and i could manage to do the duo one now you talk to belina once more 
and you are done with the quest. So now we are just four dungeons in. And let me tell you that there's a lot more coming. So this was just a quick update on our adventure. I'm going to show you something a little bit more interesting in the next one. I can assure you that guys, and I want to take some time to thank you a lot for this support. I've been noticing that you've been smashing that play button on my videos and I'm super glad about that. So if you're really enjoying this content, don't forget to subscribe. You will help me a lot just by doing that. Don't forget. That's the only real way you have to support YouTube channels. I mean, just by subscribing, you're doing something really good. So be prepared to smack that like button, that subscription button, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.